Welcome to this training session on installing ZUS, Camlock and Air Lock Fasteners. ZUS Fasteners The ZUS Turn Lock Fastener consists of a stud, grommet, and receptacle. The grommet is made of aluminum or aluminum alloy material. It acts as a holding device for the stud. The spring is made of steel, which is cadmium plated to prevent corrosion. The spring supplies the force that locks or secures the stud in place when two assemblies are joined. The studs are fabricated from steel and are cadmium plated. They are available in three head styles, wing, flush, and oval. Body diameter, length, and head type may be identified or determined by the markings found on the head of the stud. The diameter is always measured in sixteenths of an inch. Stud length is measured in hundredths of an inch and is the distance from the head of the stud to the bottom of the spring hole. A quarter of a turn of the stud, clockwise, locks the fastener. The fastener may be unlocked only by turning the stud counterclockwise. A ZUS key or a specially ground screwdriver locks or unlocks the fastener. Camlock fasteners are made in a variety of styles and designs. Included among the most commonly used are the 2600. 2700, 40S51, and 4002 series in the regular line, and the stressed panel fastener in the heavy duty line. The Kamlik fastener is used to secure aircraft cowlings and fairings. It consists of three parts a stud assembly, a grommet, and a receptacle. Two types of receptacles are available rigid and floating. The stud and grommet are installed in the removable portion. The receptacle is riveted to the structure of the aircraft. The stud and grommet are installed in either a plane, dimpled, countersunk, or counterboard hole, depending upon the location and thickness of the material involved. A quarter turn, clockwise, of the stud locks the fastener. The fastener can be unlocked only by turning the stud counterclockwise. The airlock fastener consists of three parts, a stud, a cross pin, and a stud receptacle. The studs are manufactured from steel and cashered to prevent excessive wear. The stud hole is reamed for a press fit of the cross pin. The total amount of material thickness to be secured with the airlock fastener must be known before the correct length of stud can be selected for installation. The total thickness of material that each stud satisfactorily locks together is stamped on the head of the stud in thousandths of an inch, 0.040. 0 0.070, 0 0.190, and so forth. Studs are manufactured in three head styles, flush, oval, and wing. The cross pin is manufactured from chrome vanadium steel and heat treated to provide maximum strength, wear, and holding power. It should never be used the second time. Once removed from the stud, replace it with a new pin. They are classified by the center to center distance between the rivet holes of the receptacle. Number 2 is 3 slash 4 inch. Number 5 is 1 inch. And number 7 is 13 slash 8 inch. Receptacles are fabricated from high carbon, heat treated steel. An upper wing assures ejection of the stud when unlocked and enables the cross pin to be held in a locked position between the upper wing, cam, stop, and wing detent regardless of the tension to which the receptacle is subjected. When drilling holes to install all three of the fasteners discussed, measure the distance from one rivet hole's center to the other. Using a piece of masking tape, places over where the rivets and fastener are to be placed, put marks with the pin where you will drill. Use a punch to keep the drill from wandering. Measure to the center of where the ZUS fastener will go in and mark at the piece of tape. All three holes can be initially drilled the diameter of the intended rivet shank, the grommet hole for the stud of the fastener can be expanded later. Once the first rivet hole is drilled it is a good idea to use a Clico fastener to hold the two pieces of material you are fastening together as you drill, which is a spring-loaded temporary rivet. Of course, when drilling consideration should be given as to rather to use a twist-style drill bit or what is called a step-hole bit, for the center hole. If the rivet holes are for countersunk rivet stempling may be appropriate. A chamfer bit might also be used depending on the receptacle grommet used for the stud. A little planning and good choices go a long way towards producing good and durable work. And this concludes this training session. With the aircraft that specifies we hope you all found the required equipment and all equipment approved for installation in the aircraft.